Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for spring. So I'm I'm letting winter know I'm ready for spring by doing the spring makeup. So when I go out that winter's like, listen, she got on spring makeup, so I guess it's time I gotta go. Hey everyone, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I did this spring inspired look for you guys and it was really simple really easy to achieve but it does look like you did something like you really tried so if you guys want to see how i got this look then just please keep on watching i'm coming on camera like i'm a bit crazy but that because i've already done my eyebrows and i've already primed my eyes because we're getting right into the look um as i said the eyes are already primed um with just concealer and set with powder and now we're gonna use this palette from Juvia's Place. It is the Masquerade palette. It's a really beautiful palette. I'm gonna take the shade Ada, this one right here, and I'm gonna put it all over the eyelid. And I'm gonna be using this brush from MAC. It is the 234 brush. And this is a really nice reddish brown. I think it's coming up way more reddish on camera. Okay, so we've added the color onto the eye. Of course, we're not gonna let it stay like this. So we're gonna take the other side of the brush, which is more like a blending side. I really like this brush because I feel like it's two brushes in one. That's kind of cool. So you just focusing your brush on the outer end and you're gonna bend out the other end, the outer part of the eyeshadow you don't want it to look super harsh and crazy okay so this is more the look that we want not this like harsh craziness just keep blending out the eyeshadow because we don't want to blend everything super harsh because we still want to keep the eyelids looking super pigmented so just do the ends of the eyeshadow Okay, and now that everything is super blended, the foundation that I'm going to be using is the one from Black Opal. It's the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation, and I'm using the color Black Walnut. So I'm just going to use the usual, pump some onto my hand, and put it on my face. Okay, and the brush that we're going to be using is the Real Technique Buffing Brush. So, and I really like this foundation. It is cheap, full coverage, and I feel like this foundation is also easily accessible. Like, if you live where there's a lot of beauty supply stores, you'll definitely see this. I feel like they're in almost every beauty supply store, and they're also in Walmart. But you can check out Walmart too. Okay, so I've finished applying the foundation. Now I'm going to apply some concealer. The concealer that I've been loving is from Maybelline and it's the Adri Wine Concealer. I use the shade Hazelnut. And trust me, when I say I love it, I mean I love it because this is how much leave. And I love the convenience. This is just so convenient. So. So on the forehead, the usual places. Everybody know this already. Then I'm gonna use my beauty blender and blend everything out. Highlight. I don't always have to contour, but I have to highlight. Just not feel like I did anything if I just skip highlighting or applying. Not really highlighting, but applying like foundation, um, concealer under the eye. If I don't do that, I feel like something is definitely wrong. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to apply some setting powder under the eye. And I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And this is a really yellow setting powder. And what I've been really loving to set the rest of my face is this powder from Maybelline. It is the... Maybelline fit me powder and I'm using it's the Maybelline loose finishing powder. And I'm using the color dark I don't know. I feel like I use a lot of Maybelline products <laughs> But I always try to use products that I feel like people can really Just like go and get 
as opposed to products that are like really hard to find even though most of the stuff that I buy is like from Sephora or Ulta So for a pop of color, we're going to use this blue eyeliner. It's from Italia Deluxe. I got this from um, Amazon. I think you can get 12 for like $12. And they're really pigmented. And I've been using them for quite a while. So I like them. So I'm just going to apply this blue eyeliner to my waterline. And... In this area and it's just gonna be like a little bit more fun on the eyes okay and now we've done that to both of our eyes we're gonna take the masquerade palette once again and we're gonna use this blue shade right here it's super pigmented this flat brush I'm gonna apply some of the color onto the flat brush and tap it over wherever I applied the blue eyeliner and it's gonna make it pop a little bit more and it's also going to keep the eyeliner in place. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to apply some mascara to our lower lashes. I'm using the Estee Lauder Scrumptious Extreme Mascara in the color Extreme Black. And I got this when I bought my Estee Lauder foundation. And I really like this little I really like this mascara. It separates my lashes like really easily. Okay, so the eyes are almost finished. I'm just gonna pop on some eyelashes because I feel like eyelashes really complete the look. Okay, so after adding the mascara, I went ahead and added some lashes and it really glammed up the look. Okay, so we're just gonna finish our face really fast because this is pretty much the look, but we have to do a little bit more. So I'm gonna apply some bronzer. The bronzer that I'm gonna be using is from ColourPop and this is the color I forgot what the color is called. Damn. It's not on this. Damn. Bits. See? This color is called Bits and Pieces. Yeah, it looks like this. This is like the third bronzer that I'm, well, the second bronzer that I'm trying that I don't hit. That actually shows up a little bit on my skin. Because you know, I was struggling up for a while because I was only using my CoverGirl bronzer. But a friend of mine told me, she's like, you should try the cup of one. I feel like you would like it. It's dark enough. And it is just dark enough. Thank God. Most bronzers are not dark enough. But now I have three bronzers, so I'm super happy about that. Okay, so we've bronzed the face and we're actually going to use some blush today. I mean, we kind of stopped using blush for a little bit, but I feel like for spring... Summer, you can't go around with a little bit of blush. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush right here. And the blush that I'm using is Raisin from MAC. It's super old. If you're super dark skin, like you know, like if you go to MAC and they're like, can I get like a naturalist kind of blush? They're gonna give you Raisin from MAC. Yeah, so we've added some blush and we're feeling, we're feeling good. Then I'm gonna add some highlighter. I'm gonna do it already. Oh. We're gonna add some highlighters, and the highlighter that I'm using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. Ooh, ooh, baby. It looks really gorgeous. Oh, I'm not going ham on the highlighter, but it is a really beautiful highlighter. Okay, so we've added our highlight, and the last step is just to add some lip gloss. And the lip gloss I'm gonna be using is from Fenty Beauty and it is gloss bomb. As much as I don't really love wearing lip gloss, probably stick like when the wind blows it sticks to my hair. 
I mean when the wind blows my hair sticks to my lips and I hate that but I love how it looks so this is pretty much the spring inspired look like nothing crazy nothing hard super super easy every and anybody could do this look um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys stick around for a next video and also don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video um and i'll see you in the next video also i think i'm gonna be putting up another video somewhere right here so keep clicking and you know i have a lot of videos so watch them hit the subscribe button